Hi, this is Adele, and what you're going to see me show you and demonstrate in a step-by-step -step method in this video is something you've never seen before. And the reason is because I invented it to make your art um, process and growth easy, um, seamless, where you'll gain confidence and know just what to do next. Now, I want to let you know that if you like the content that I'm going to show you here, please do me a favor and click the link below because I have an academy, the Art with Adele Academy, that's open right now and I want you to join. It's only open for three days. And if you like this and other videos on my channel, please click the subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified of every new video I put up. So let's get going. <laughs> So what I want to show you is something I created called painting guides. And I have a notebook filled with painting guides. So what are painting guides? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what they are. And then I'm going to put one here. Oh, that's a hard one to see. I'm going to put this here. This is a guide. This is a guide. Look at all the different guides. And why I call them guides is because I, I put marks or um, shapes on these wonderful acrylic, basically they're clear acrylic binders and um, or dividers. It's clear acrylic dividers. And you can get them on Amazon, but I do a whole bunch of them and put them in a notebook. So I have stacks and stacks and stacks of them. So how do I use this? I'm going to show you kind of a quick example of how I use this, and then we're going to make some. So make sure you stay to the end. Say this is, this is one of my paintings, and say I am not finished, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Well, let me show you. You can take all the guides that you have, um, or the ones that you think are appropriate, and lay them over and move them around your painting. So instead of just guessing, do I want a shape like that? Or do I want a mark like that? And if I do, where do I put it on the painting? So this way, you can do something like this and you can move it around. Do you like it here? Do you like it on the edge? Do you want it off the edge? Do I want it up here to be more subtle with this orange over orange? So you get to decide where you want it and all the colors and the marks that you make on these acrylic sheets and dividers comes from you. So you are, this is your vocabulary, your artistic vocabulary. Here's another one. Say I want to do some white um, writing and I'm going to show you this is a special technique that I use to do this. Do I want it? This is a large one. Do I want it here or here or maybe up here? And I mean, I must have 40 to 50 of these. Say you want to do a shape. This is just a yellow ochre shape. Uh, I mean, a shape with yellow ochre, but you can move it around. Do I want it here? Do I want it on the side like this? Personally, I really like it here. Suppose I want to put it um, this way. Does it go here or maybe overlapping here? Look at all the possibilities. Let's go through a few more just on this one painting. And you can say, for instance, if you put something up here and you say, oh no, you either have it in the yes pile or the maybe pile or the no pile. So say this one, uh, this is just um, a shape that I made with some line work that's different from all my other ones. And I love this one. Do I want it in here? Probably no, that's a no. Look, here's a blue. Now, you can also do these shapes and not have them. You don't have to put it on in the exact color. Say you love this shape and you want it over here and you don't want this color, you want another color. That's wonderful. You can do that. Just change the color, but you know you like that shape. Suppose this one. Here's a pattern. Do I like the patterns? Now, to me, this is too much of the same. There are a lot of marks up here. I think what it needs, in my opinion, is a big shape, one big shape. Here's yellow, which I love. Look at this yellow. Where do I put it? Up here, down here, on the edge. Here's another writing. That one would be a no, 
but there's so many yeses. Look at this. I've done a pattern. So if I want to do a, a, a really strong black and white pattern, I could do it here. I could even just cover it up here and, if, and say, do I want it just on this white piece of paper there? That might be a yes. So I want to push these aside and I'm going to show you how to make your own. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside um, and let's make some. I'm going to, here's my stack over here and I just take one at a time. Um, let's see, I'm going to put this here. I have, I want to show you what I have. I have some paints, I have brushes, I have Posca pens, I have, um, these are s s solid markers by Sakura. These are great on there. And I have, I made several of my specialty colors that I use all the time in squeeze bottles. And if you want to know how to do this, click the link above and I have a video showing you just how to do it. So say we want to do it, I'm going to put this over here so it might make it easier to see. Say I want to do a, um, oh, let's just do uh, some dots over here. Say I want to do some dots with these colors, just all over. Just like that. Okay, now say you can fill up the whole sheet if you want, or half the sheet, and just so you know, if you want to keep them like this and let them dry like this, that's totally great. And I have another little technique that if you want to make them a little bit bigger, take a look at this. I use saran wrap or plastic wrap all the time. And so what I'm going to show you now is you can put this over it like this and press down lightly or hard, however you like the, um, the little dots, and then pull it up. Oh, I missed one here, so I'm going to do one here. Put this here, there. So I love it like this. So I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to put it over here to dry. So that's one. Let's say I wanted to do some red, just like scribble. Now this is a permanent, this is a china marker. So you can just do anything on this. It will stay. Say I don't have anything like this. You want to do things that you might not have all over the page. So there's another one. So I'm going to put that over there. Let me do one with markers. Um, the I'll do one with the solid markers. and so, Yes, yeah, by Sakura. And I'm going to do this like here. So you can see it. This is a fluorescent solid marker and I love this color. So I'm going to do just kind of like a shape. A shape. And I just like those too. So I'm going to set it over here to dry. These actually need time to dry. So let's keep going. Let's here's another one and let's do some more painting. So say I want to do, put it here, I'm going to mix a light pink. So I'll do a little bit of the alizarin crimson. I'm going to put some white in it. I'm not sure how much, so I'm going to, let's see. I'm just gonna mix this and see how I like that. Ooh, I like that color. And see, I have several of these binders filled to the brim. So you might wanna do something like this, just marks or patterns and come off the page. Do you wanna fill it all up? Patterns to me, I want to see patterns. I love having patterns in my work. So look at all this. There's another one. And look how quick and easy it is. And if you want something like that, and you say you, you, you like that, and you want to do something, you can also like do a circle around it. Think about all the things you could do. You might not use this one all the time, but you might. It all depends on what your work is. And not only that, everything you decide in here is from your own particular um, choices, your colors and your marks. So it's all geared towards you. Now let's do another one. I'm gonna do this one. We've done paints. We've done the solid markers. Let's do the, I'm gonna use this, the Posca markers. I'm gonna shake it. I'm just gonna do kind of mark. Again, another pattern, and I haven't shown you all a lot of shapes that are filled in, so I'm going to do that next. Just kind of wrap, wrap random, 
and I'm making sure you see that they're not all equally spaced because I want some variety. So how's that? Now I'm going to put this over there. Look how many we've already done. So I'm going to do one more and show you. Let's see. Let's do one more. I'm going to put this over here. Um, and that's going to be with a pink. Say we want pink. Let's stay with pink since we've got it. But say we want to do a different color pink. So I'm going to add a lot more of this in here to make it a stronger pink. Maybe I'll mix it and put some other... Let me do the orange. We'll do some orange. Oh, I love those two colors together. So let's do this. So what are we going to do? We did um, a round shape. What kind of shape can we do? You and you might want one that's filled in. How about something like this to go off on a page? So you want it um, just a you know kind of organic shape that goes off like this. Could be on an edge or something else. Whoops. Let's see. I got my paint over here. I'm going to wipe it off right away, and I'm going to let this dry. Let me get one more. See, this is the thing. <laughs> Once you start this, you are not going to stop. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a whole bunch of red. I just want to show you one more because I have all the paints out. So let's do one more. Oh, that's a great color. Okay, so what do we do? I have a lot of patterns. What about another shape? How about this shape? I like that shape. And again, if you, if you like the shape, but you don't want the color in one of your paintings, you can just change the color. So make sure you do shapes and marks in all a variety of colors. Love that. Love the color, by the way, too. So there's that one. And um, please do me a favor. And if you've liked this and enjoy this and want to see how I use this in all my paintings, Take a look below, click the link to Art with Adele Academy. It's only open for a couple more days. Hope to see you there.